Well, we are here with the adorable Lily Grace. I cannot wait for everybody to get to meet you. How are you, Lily? I'm well, Devin. How are you? I'm fantastic. Where are you Beautiful. today? I'm in Nashville. I'm in the absolute dream city. I've been wanting to be here for a really long time. And um, I'm from Australia, but in Nashville right now. You know, you you got your start at such a young age. When did you walk onto your first stage and, and get bit bitten by the bug? I was 12 when I first performed. I um, played the local open mic nights and I showed up with my guitar and um, was determined to give it a good hot shot and um, started doing the open mic rounds, started busking and just built my way up from there. <laughs> I'll say you did. Now, if anybody is not from Australia, yes. to be to play things like Tamworth and the Gimpy Muster, of which I've been to, and I just... I these are talking about huge festivals, but also to get the thumbs up from people like James Blundell, who is literally, if you don't know, he's the Garth Brooks of Australia. Yeah. <laughs> I've been so grateful to be supported and nurtured by so many of Australia's greats. And I've really been, James Blundell has been one of those people who have really taken me under his wing and helped me through everything and introduced me to people and motivated me and, taught me so many things about the industry and just musically and in general. And I'm so grateful to have people like him backing me up. Now you're, you're finally here in Nashville. You made the yeah. move and that's a big move. I mean, it really is because I will say going to visit Australia, it's the only place I thought I, I want to move here like today. Oh. <laughs> I love Australia. It's a beautiful place. It really is. And it's absolutely home for me. It always will be. And you know, all my family and my friends are there and Everything I've been with is Australian. And um, I'm a proud Aussie, but I'm also really excited and proud to be in Nashville and doing all the things here. I think um, being in Nashville, I always say, is just so exciting because there's so many opportunities here. If you want to write songs every day, you can. If you want to record, you can. If you want to practice your band every day, you can. And there's just so much opportunity to be here and to kind of work towards what I'm really trying to achieve, which is wonderful. Right. And I think the the magic of Nashville is it's everything is really centrally located. Oh, it's so I it mean, is. really, because I mean, no matter what you do, you're not going to drive more than an hour. Now in Australia, <laughs> you might have artists uh, it's separated by an entire country. An entire it's so country, true. You know, so, so it's, true. It's not quite as easy. Hey, let's make a co-write next week and I'll meet you at the coffee house. It's a little different. You can come to Nashville and literally do that, right? Exactly, exactly. Everything's quite spread apart in Australia. I was trying to explain to some of my American friends how big Australia really is. And to get to Sydney from where I'm from is like a 15-hour drive. And that's like only a quarter of the way down the coastline. And they're like, that's crazy. I was like, yeah, Australia is really big. It's, <laughs> it's pretty big. It's, like <laughs> Definitely, definitely. But but what I do love that comes out of Australia is this joy of performing and a freedom of writing. When did you start realizing that you had a gift for writing? Yeah, I had never really been into songwriting too much until over COVID. And I'd gone to a couple of songwriting camps, but it wasn't something I'd really kind of sparked with or enjoyed doing as much. And over COVID, I think I always found it really difficult to do and it was just a tricky thing to try and put a melody and a lyrics together. And it was just something I struggled with, which is why I didn't enjoy it. But um, I made up my mission over COVID to absolutely write a song every day or at least do something on a song. And I did that and just every day grinded at it, trying to get a bit better. And um, after about three, four months, I was like, I love this. This is so exciting. I get to really express myself. I get to create these new things. And, oh, yeah. Um, just since then, I've just been fully obsessed with it, trying to write a better song every single time and trying to say something with meaning and saying it really uniquely. And it's something I really enjoy doing and find so exciting. Well, what is next for you? What's coming up next? Yeah, so I head back for, to Australia for a little bit. I graduate high school, which will be exciting. And, and um, I'll come back. I'll do some shows over there. Then I'll be back here in February and um, just rolling out a bunch of new material that I've been working on. I've been writing every day since I've been here and have so many good songs, which we are cutting at the moment. And I cannot wait to get them out and share them with people. Where can people hear your music? And are you going to play any place live in Nashville? Where's your favorite place to play live in Nashville? Ooh, the Bluebird Cafe, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. I walked in there starry-eyed and I was so excited to be playing there. I've played there twice now, which I am very grateful to do. And I walk in every time all giddy and excited. 
excited. Best place is social media, Lily Grace Live, L I L Y Grace Live, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever you are on, that is my tag. Lily Grace Live and follow her because this girl is going places. Thank you so, Yay. so much for your time. Follow her on YouTube because she's got some wonderful videos there as well. You have a great rest of your day and congratulations you on your graduation. You're just so young and bright and all these dreams coming true. And we wish Thank you, you the Devin. best. I really appreciate that. Thank you for having me. <laughs> right back.